to my channel divinely guided tarot if you're new here my name is angel and i'm here to bring you another general collective energy reading this message could be for all signs so please remember to take only what resonates with your particular situation everyone leave the rest behind and as always guys thank you so very much for all of your likes your comments your shares your subscriptions everything that you do to help this channel grow is so greatly appreciated. I put a lot of passion and a lot of energy into creating these videos every day and it's it's such an honor to do this for you. So thank you for all of your beautiful energy. Thank you for bringing this energy to my table, blessing my table with all of your good deeds that I can broadcast to the world to help you teach your message to people and help you with a message along the way. That's the purpose of this, finding God in everything. So guys, thank you. Thank you so very much. Now, we have received this Star Seed Oracle. It's the sister deck to the Lightworker Oracle made by the same individual. You can find these decks on Amazon. I have them down in the description box below. Um, so we're going to be breaking this bad boy out for the very first time today and I'm super super excited about it um, because it is catered messages for star seeds and I've been getting a lot of star seed um, vibes coming into this retrograde and you know I feel like we need to start catering this um, the next couple of messages here towards you so if you resonate as a star seed this message is for you today Holy Spirit, please provide um, protection over this portal while I channel divinely guided messages for my subscribers. Please bless them with the intuition they need um, to be able to do their missions in perfect harmony and in perfect peace. Messages that they uh, need to hear today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, let's take a look and get the energy for our star seeds today on this beautiful day. And you know, we have a fly buzzing around here. He was let in from outside and he is just hanging around. But I'm going to tell you something. The fly is not going to bother this message. He's just envious. <laughs> He's like, I want the sunshine. I see this window over here and all these crystals. And I think that's what's attracting him is all the sparkly stuff over here. So we have the blue flame, spontaneous awakening, activation, integration time. What a card to pull, the first card out of this deck. For all of you star seeds that are going through this retrograde with some hiccups, some intense energy. So right now, I'm feeling Archangel energy on this card. Wanting you to bathe in blue flames. You have Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Michael energy here. Archangel Michael is real heavy on this card. I think he represents blue, but he's real heavy on this card. Like very divine protection over you star seeds in this collective. Okay, so they're advising right now that you may also want to be... Um, Practicing bathing in that, that blue light of the divine. Because during this awakening period, during this period of activation for this next part of your journey, you are going to need extra protection from all of the flies that are buzzing around you because it's going to be increased activity. You know what I mean? So, blue flame. Excellent. Archangel protection. Good energy to start off with. Too many cards. One more, please. And we have Surrender to the Sweetness. It says Venus energy, pleasure, joy, make love to life. Um, are we coming into, is this a Venus retrograde, guys? I think it might be. I, I, I don't know much about this retrograde. But I think, and I think Spirit is saying that's correct. 
they're saying that yes, this must be some kind of Venus Mercury, uh, or excuse me, not Mercury, Venus retrograde. It says Venus energy on the card here. It says surrender to the sweetness. And this is all of that good karma coming back to you. This is that Ten of Cups. This is that Ten of Pentacles. This is that promise at the end of the rainbow, right? So Spirit wants you to start enjoying all of the fruits of your labor. Definitely. Nine Pentacles energy there. Holy Spirit, give us another one. I'm loving this. No wonder they wanted a star seed reading today. They're giving me two more and we will take them. And then we'll go ahead and we'll put this deck over here. So to add to our base energy here, it also says to loosen your grip. It says coping mechanisms, destiny, addiction, letting God in. Appropriate for this channel, I would say, during this last moon cycle, this blue moon cycle that we're going through, last moon in August, okay, it's on the 20, no, it's not the 28th, it's on the 30th, it's on the 30th, you guys, so this energy is all about letting go, it's all about releasing what doesn't belong to us, it's all about, um, you know, not just coping and getting comfortable in our situations, but understanding, hold on one second. Sorry about that collective. We are so close to school starting and I am so excited. Anyways, um, so yes, this is all about your destiny. This is all about not coping with life, not settling for things anymore. That was where I was at before we were interrupted. This is all about not settling into a pattern of life that you don't want to live in. This is about liberating your timeline and co-creating with the universe exactly the way you want to see it. Because star seeds, you are royal. Star seeds, you are divine beings. You were made for so much more than to be trapped in a cycle of the enemy's design. So loosen your grip. Forgive. They're asking you to start forgiving everybody who has ever offended you. Because that forgiveness is what's going to break the cycle, break the chain, break the generational curse. You are a very... Um, a very strong energy and you're a very compassionate energy but you're also an energy that's just fed up with being abused and taken advantage of so this is coming into that power that you don't have to fight with a sword you can fight with mercy and say I forgive you I release you from my life you're banishing that energy out of your life and that's exactly what you want to do when you try to hold on to an energy that no longer serves you or that keeps you in a toxic loop because it traps you in your mind with that individual and what they did to you. That's what the enemy wants. Don't feed the karmic flying monkeys, everybody. Remember, don't feed the karmic flying monkeys. Go ahead and throw some holy water on that witch and she will melt, period. I mean, if Dorothy can do it in a pair of sparkly slippers, okay, you can do it too. You've been through a lot worse than cowardly lions. <laughs> okay, I don't know. I don't know why I'm doing the whole Wizard of Oz thing. I apologize. It's just how they're showing it to me. <laughs> and the last one, it's activated earth. Powerful places, ley lines, trust where you are led. Some of you actually live almost on top of ley lines or within a 100 mile radius of a ley line. Okay? And if you do, this is because you were genetically um, engineered, they're telling me. You were genetically engineered by God to come to those places. You are drawn to those places like magnets, right? Like moths to the flame, bugs to that bug zapper. Would put, it, put whatever analogy on it that you want. But you are drawn. You don't understand why. You just know that you have to go to a specific location. And that's beautiful. So this is your energy. This is all about going through this transition.
transformation with divine protection and divine advice on how to succeed. Forgiveness, letting go, bathing in that blue flame, activating your 3D body here on earth with your higher self and aligning. It's a convergence, okay? So it's like, it's like eclipses, right? It's a convergence. You mesh together during this last full moon cycle. And then once the moon passes, it's like you're in that energy that you choose to be in. So choose well. Every choice, every thought, everything is being recorded very carefully. Like your angels are telling me everything that every person does to you from here moving forward, really for a while now, but... After this, this cycle starts in your life, whenever you're seeing this, you are going to have every person that attacks you be detailed re recordings, detailed notes, thoughts, what they wanted to do, what they were trying to do, what they failed to do, and what they're going to be reaping karma on. It's going to be a great shadow of God's hand that's what I see. And if you can see the shadow on the table, God's mighty hand is protecting you. This reading is protected. Your message is protected. Your destiny is protected in Jesus' name. Because God's mighty hand is over top of it. So we're going to go ahead and dig into the tarot a little bit here and see a little bit more about what the Holy Spirit wants to talk to you about. We have this surrender to the sweetness. You know, that's the good stuff we like. Um, but I'm really interested in asking the divine, what do we need to loosen our grip on? Because that seems like it's the most important thing. So that's really the first step in the activation period of this new cycle in your life collective. Okay. So Holy Spirit, please provide for me what my collective, what my Starseed collective is resonating with this message, what they need to loosen their grip on, what do they need to let go and let you in on. Holy Spirit, please and thank you. They're saying, <laughs> they're saying the nine of swords here, they need you to let your anxiety and more importantly, your fear the fear that the same thing is going to happen to you again that happened to you before. You were traumatized by mankind. And you put yourself in a box. You hid yourself away. And that's what the enemy wanted. You sitting up all night thinking about all the mean things that people say to you. Or being rejected. Rejection, rejection, rejection. That's what they're telling me. Constantly being rejected. Not accepted, not wanted. Um, like it kept you up at night unintentionally. Like you, you, you try to let things go. You're telling me I try to let this go. It's just so hard. Why does it keep popping back up into my head? Because God says it's not just one time snap your fingers and it's done and over with. You may have to go to the cross every 10 minutes when a bad thought comes into your head or self-deprecating thought, or a toxic thought that doesn't belong inside of you because it manifests into life because you were that powerful. That's how the enemy twists um, their war tactics, using you against yourself. Well, if you're a strong, powerful manifester, I'm just going to go ahead and plant seeds of fear and doubt in them, and then they're going to go ahead and they're going to take care of it themselves. Ha, 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 ha. Well, guess what? We woke up <laughs> and God is delivering you a message right now that says it's okay to struggle with letting things go. He just wants you to do it with him every single time. So guys, if you have to go to God and say, cry me, I'm thinking about it again. I, I don't want to think about this bad thing that happened in my life. I don't want to think um, retaliate retaliation thoughts on people who hurt me. I don't want to have rebuttals in my head and go, oh, well, oh, yeah? Well, you're just a blankety-blank. Like, you don't want those thoughts anymore. So God says, 
continue to give it to him every single time they pop in. He says, I am perfectly capable of handling that for you, baby. So you can free your mind to something greater. And then eventually it's going to become less and less and less of something that's on your mind because God's going to keep replacing it with little bursts of, of joy and freedom. And he just needs you to continue to bring it to him. He says, anytime that enemy gives you crap, you bring it to me and I'll take care of it, baby. That's what he's saying. So that's what they want you to let go. Let go of the nightmares. Let go of the hopelessness, the trauma, the despair, the anxiety, the sadness, the sleepless nights. They threw that card out. They want you to replace it with ten of cups, guys. Yes, God's saying, baby, look up. The wealth is right here with me. So just keep walking towards me, baby. I got you. That's what they're saying. God calls you baby. For somebody very specific, a star seed in this collective, you know that God calls you baby or your nickname is baby in spirit or even here on earth, baby. Somebody calls you baby a lot. Like that's like your name. Oh, and then remember I told you you were walking in your nine of pentacles energy. Thank you, God. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for shining your light down on this message and for bringing these star seeds, this beautiful confirmation. I so appreciate you. Thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit, give us a little bit more about... Hmm, not surprised. It's an empress. We have a divine feminine in this collective, or you could be a masculine holding your empress divine um, uh, feminine energy. Remember, there's no gender in tarot. I'm only reading the energy. So we have a strong divine feminine energy going through this, this portal, going through this retrograde. You've already gone through the portal. You're now going through this Venus retrograde. I hope it's a Venus retrograde because I don't want to look silly. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Don't crucify me. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> Holy Spirit, give us a little bit more about this activated earth. This ley line, trust where we are led. Where are you leading my star seeds? Where are you leading the star seed collective that resonates with this message? They're leading you to a portal of completion. They're leading you out of one cycle and beginning a new cycle and a new phase in a new part of your life. This is completion. This is also travel. They're leading you to a different physical location. I've been picking that up in the last few messages. People actually uprooting their entire lives, selling their family homes and businesses, and a lot of weather catastrophe is causing this. People are displaced. Um, people are starting to move inland from coastal cities um, because of, you know, tsunami risks. And it's just not looking too bright out there as far as weather is concerned and what the the next season, the fall season is going to be bringing to a lot of people here in the United States even, not just here but around the world. So I feel like people are being led to hmm, magnetic points on the planet. Like I said, you're being called to ley lines. You're being called inland. You're being called to safer locations for you and your family, right? So I don't know exactly what this means to you, but Spirit says that you will know exactly what this means. So I'll leave that one up to you for interpretation. Holy Spirit, please provide for me more about this activated earth. What more about this activated earth? You have the full card. You're starting a new journey at this specific location that you are being led to. Your journey starts the moment you make this move in your life. So people are asking right now, when does that happen? And they're saying that this particular journey, this mission, begins when you are located at the place where you were led to go. What that means for you, take that as it resonates. I am speaking to somebody who is a strong earth sign on the board here. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We also have a little bit of air on here. You got some Gemini. 
Yes. Aquarius. Yes. Yes. Holy Spirit, give me a little bit more on this activated earth. Where are you leading them to? Where are you leading them to? Please and thank you. They're leading you. They're leading you to. Oh, okay. What they're doing right now is they're giving you intuitive downloads on how to organize your life right now. So you're receiving nudges and urges to pack up belongings, rearrange things in your house, um, change locations, not just physically like we were just talking about, like moving your entire life towards a different location, but it's also changing your routines. Changing up your routines, they're saying, is part of the confusion to the enemy plan. Okay, the enemy cannot follow you if they don't have a good focal direction to go on. So if you're the kind of person that is used to a routine, and I'll, I'll be very honest with you, they shared this with me last night. And they're like, I'm like, I have to do this many recordings on my record days, and I have to post this many per day, and I'm just very, very organized. That's just who I am. I'm a Capricorn sun. I'm a Capricorn moon. I'm a full-blown Capricorn <laughs> under Capricorn placements. <laughs> and it's very, very strong. The number three is so important to me. But guys... God had to really shake my world up last night and force me out of routines in order to provide me the protection I needed from the spiritual attacks that I was receiving. And it wasn't until I agreed to the routines that the divine put in my head and I'm like, well, I don't, I don't want to do that. And they're like, you need to trust me. We're, and I'm like, you know what? I preach that to you guys all the time. I said, guys, I trust you. I trust you, angels. I trust you, God. I trust you, JC. Just lead the way. <laughs> and please make it not hurt. <laughs> and I laughed a little bit and I felt all of this instantaneous love. Like overwhelming love pouring back into me. And like all of the enemy's whispers just magically disappeared. Resist the devil and he will flee. Um, so I took some time to thank God for the lessons and for testing me the way that he did. Because it really just, it really just helps us grow, you know. And I understand that. And I'm here today feeling great and this star seed message is one of the products of that. So they're saying it's time to break your routines for your spiritual protection. So if you are suffering from um, attacks, spiritual attacks like I was, this is a time to break those cycles and break those chains and routines. And it will confuse your enemy and it'll give you a moment to breathe, bring your head up above the water line, and then move forward in a completely different direction. Remember, guys, you are the wild card here. You are the wild card. One more for the activate earth, please. One more for the activate earth. Oh, yes. They said it's time to Go boldly into your life and take courage. It's time to emerge. It's time to step out. You may hear a lot of messages right now saying just the exact opposite. But my spirit has been screaming at me. My chosen ones are being called forward because the messages need to go out. However God delivers messages through you, maybe you do a craft. Maybe you make a product that you sell online or that you're called to sell online. This is for somebody very specific who has beautiful work, anointed work, and they throw their, their love and their energy and their prayers into their, their hobby. And it's only a hobby right now, they're telling me. But you have a dream to take it out of the word hobby and labeling it a career selling your items online. God is saying it's time to take courage into that step and come out fully into your calling, into your particular mission, Starseed. Beautiful, beautiful energy. I love it. So Holy Spirit, please provide for me. 
provide for me some advice with our cannabis oracle. I'd like to know a little bit more about what advice you have about this um, this completion, about this sweetness, this call to enjoy the pleasures of life. Please give us some advice regarding that card. Because this feminine energy feels like they are feeling really good coming out of this cycle. But their energy is all pulsing and it's kind of all over the place. So breaking up that routine, yes. It's just confusing the enemy. And she's perfectly, or this feminine energy is perfectly happy and satisfied with that. Because inside she's smiling to herself because she knows she's divinely protected, okay? And knowing your power and knowing who your God is, mm, that's half the battle right there, isn't it? The enemy can't conceive of what love and faith and belief and trust and prayer is. They, they, they can't conceive of it. That's why it's our protection. Holy Spirit, provide for us some advice. Some advice for this beautiful starseed energy in this collective who's resonating with this message. Huh. <laughs> you have the Yamoa card. And guess what, guys? It's the starseed card. What a confirmation for you, right? Strong Cancerian energy on this too. So we have earth, water, water and air on the board you could have you could be a strong earth sign with water or earth placements or water or air placements guys you are the star seed remember who you are you're not from here don't let the earthly human matters the earthly human things compromise the integrity of your mission they're saying that very specifically and i'm going to say it again do not allow earthly matters to compromise the integrity of your mission, Starseed. You have a grander purpose than what you actually realize. A far bigger one that only God knows that's going to be revealed to you at the end of it all. There is a fly on your card too. Did you see that fly pop up on your card? The enemy is going to try to attack you heavily. I've never had that happen before. But in Jesus' name, I pray protection over this beautiful star seed, this beautiful empress energy. We bathe your divine light on their destiny, and we lift them up, God. In Jesus' name, I raise this star seed that... that resonates with this message up into your divine hands for beautiful divine protection. May her guides, may her ancestors, may her divine angels lead her or him, whoever resides in this feminine starseed energy, to the location they need to be at. Man, I hate it when the enemy comes out. He had me all up in my head yesterday, but I'm going to be getting him out of here very, very soon. As soon as this message is done. <laughs> Mama's got a point to make. <laughs> Don't come after my star seeds. We have the beyond card. So yes, they're wanting you to lean on your guides. Trust. This is all about learning to trust star seeds. You don't, haven't been given the opportunity to trust yet. You are not the trusting type right now. But God is saying, that's okay. Trust me. Because I don't let you down. I don't condemn you or punish you or do things to harm you. I am, I am yours and you are mine. Your divine angels, your divine ancestors, your divine guides of the white light have been guiding you, leading you. Since you were an infant, talking to you, singing to you, helping you avoid the distractions of the enemy. That's power, you guys, that the enemy can't even bother you anymore. They're like the buzzing fly, like shoe fly, don't bother me. They can't do anything but annoy you. You understand what that means? 
The enemy can only annoy you at this point. Do you understand the power that is floating around on you? <laughs> we didn't like that. <laughs> oh, Holy Spirit, give me another. Yes, Spirit says it's time to act. This is also the Ace of Pentacles in, uh, or excuse me, the Ace of Wands in the tarot deck in, to me. Okay, this is a time to take that idea to fruition. This is a time to go ahead and take that idea off the rack, right? And put it online to sell. You are going to be doing some insane work online and it's not going to require a storefront to do so. So be prepared. <laughs> be prepared to be busy. Um, get your rest now, collective. That's what they're telling me. Get your rest now because you are going to need it for what's coming your way. And I am going to go ahead and shift over here for our spirit animal cards and affirmations for you. Beautiful star seeds. What spirit animal affirmation cards, what spirit animals want to come forward to give aid to my star seeds who resonate with this message? Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Please and thank you. Let's see. What's the message? We have the sea otter. It's the card of happiness. I also see a lot of soul family vibes off of this. Um, you know, coming into actual families, tribes of yours, extended families, merging families, merging tribes. I mean, like everybody just keeps piling into your groups and it's making this family bigger and brighter and happier. The more of you that gather together in the same kind of positive energy, you manifest like crazy, beautiful things in the world. And this card says, be the master of playful living. Release expectations and enjoy every day. Let the worry go and instead choose love. Surrender to the waves. Your good destiny of love is sure. And this is speaking on the message that God delivered to you earlier about the loosening your grip, about the letting of things go, letting go and letting God in. Letting go and letting God. Beautiful. Holy Spirit, provide another for me. Provide another for me. Love it. We have the lizard, the card of regeneration. It says, as a survivor, you are unparalleled. No matter what happens, you can adapt. Embrace your transformation. Put on your new cloak. You are a master of regeneration. Yes, you are collective. You are a master of your own destiny. So start creating the one that you want to see for yourself. And the last one is the puffin. This is the card of partnership. And look, it even made its first appearance right here on the sea otter card. Remember, we talked about family. Coming together, you got the card of partnership. That's coming together with groups of people, happy groups of people. See the connection? And this card says, accept yourself and your colorful personality. Feel confident about being you. You are a joy bringer. Let your community nourish and protect you. Ask for help. Teamwork will give you the best results beautiful work together where three or more come together in prayer you can do miracles guys and i posted something like that on the community board um for our members only section because we were praying for each other in some of our private posts over there if you are interested in becoming a divine angel lounge member, um, it's $2.99 a month. Details are in the description box below. Um, but you get specialized content just for you, um, geared messages straight for you, and I offer personal readings. And you get live uh, free meeting readings. So I'm going to be doing a live reading this week. So if you are interested in receiving free messages on that day, 
just make sure that you're a member. <laughs> and um, that way you have the little star badge that pops up on your name tag whenever you pop into chat rooms. And then I'll be able to make sure I read your messages for free. So star seeds. Speaking of that last message, we're going to go ahead and pull out our scriptures. We're going to find out what God wants to talk to you about, what the message is going into this this new cycle, this full cycle, this new journey, the sweetness of life that you're going to be experiencing. Come on. I still feel like I'm trying to find the right kind of solution for these scripture cards, but I'm really liking the size of them. I hope that you're enjoying them too. Holy Spirit, please provide. Okay, we got two. We're going to take this last one. I love it. And they all fit in the box. So I can put it away every night, right? <laughs> and I can display our other cards. <laughs> All right, let's see what the message is. Holy Spirit, please open these cards without trouble. Perfect. It's a little bit easier. It says, He will judge between the nations and will settle disputes for many people. They will beat their swords into plowshares and spears into pruning hooks. Nation will not take up sword against nation, nor will they train for war anymore. Isaiah chapter 2 verse 4. This is a prophecy saying that we are coming to an age of divine peace. It has been foretold that God will correct everything that is wrong with this planet and that includes the people who choose to do evil and do wrong and violate universal code and universal law god's law and it's right here he will judge between the nations and will settle disputes for many people all people and that's isaiah chapter 2 verse 4 beautiful beautiful scripture that that foretells you, Starseed, coming into this world. You are one of God's chosen. Okay? It's beautiful energy, and I'm very, very happy to see that. You know, when my when these cards don't rip, I find it successful. <laughs> it says, I will carry out vengeance on them and punish them in my wrath. Then they will know that I am the Lord when I take vengeance upon them. And that is Ezekiel chapter 25, verse 17. And I'll be very honest, guys. This was almost too aggressive of a scripture for me to add. But I actually have Ezekiel as a guide. He is one of my personal angels. He is one of my personal guides. Okay. He commanded me to put this in here. Because we are in an age of karma being played out. And whether or not we are comfortable with somebody being punished before our very eyes, it is foretold that we will witness the punishing of others who offend the chosen collective. So this scripture is in preparation for that. To be prepared to see your enemies fall. And it's not easy watching that, you guys. It can be heartbreaking. So to prepare your, your gentle, loving heart for that kind of showing. You're not used to getting justice. You're not used to seeing it play out before your eyes. But God promises you will. And to be ready for it. Whew, that was heavy. Sorry. Sorry, guys. It's important for you to know that, though, that God sees you. And all of those fine detailed notes that we were mentioning before that um, your angels are, are tracking and taking note of, it's important for you to know that, hold on, it's important for you to know that the enemy will not get away with the sins in the long run, okay? So not to fear, not to fear at all. And your last one says, be on your guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous and be strong, do everything in love, star seeds. And that's 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 13, not the star seeds. I was addressing you with the scripture. 
<laughs> be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith and be courageous and strong. Do everything in love. 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 13. That is your message. That is what you came here to do. You came here to love. For you even love mankind enough that you chose to dedicate uh, multiple reincarnations just for the success of humanity's evolution. And guys, I feel like that's a beautiful place to stop where we're at. I hope this message resonated with you. If it does, hit that like and subscribe button. If this energy belongs to you, um, you're definitely at the right channel. <laughs> and I adore reading this for you. So guys, no matter where you are in the world, thank you for being your truest, authentic selves. Take care of yourselves and God bless each one of you.